So this is how you change the cable on a SRAM guide RE. Some things you'll need is a brake hose. You'll need a T8 Torx. You need this, the Stealthamajig. If you have a bleeding kit like I do, it actually came with it. So you'll need an eight millimeter wrench. You also need brake fluid. I'm gonna use this dot four. So the first step of this video is removing the compression nut. You gotta take off the pre-existing line. So you just unscrew this eight millimeter compression nut in front. You access this by taking off this little rubber piece. Just slide it off and then you unscrew the nut. So you're going to install this hose barb into this line. Uh, you're going to use your T8. Uh, they say use lube, but you can probably just dip this in some dot fluid for some lubricant and it'll do the job. So after threading the barb in, you're going to take your little cylinder sleeve. And since this is reverse threaded, you just reverse thread it onto the exposing threads. So you're going to have these three little steps facing outwards. Uh, I'll show you when I'm done. So the three steps will be on the outside and that one little step down will be on the opposite side. So the fitting they gave you, you just cut it off because you're going to thread this line anyways. So this is how it should look. Okay, so I'm going to put this line into the lever body. So just like that, and you're gonna thread it on. So you got one side of your brake done, the lever. So you're gonna throw this on your bike and measure out how long you need the cable to be. So after you know how long you need the cable to be, just mount your caliper and you're just gonna do the same process as what you did on the front. Okay, so this is how I'm bleeding the brakes. I took off the caliper and mounted it to a high point. So the line's going all the way down. So then the air rises. And I'm just not putting a little plunger on here. And then I'm pushing the fluid down through this hole.